It's been a little over a week since firing up the Tacoma, so let's see if she fires up nice and smooth and just like that. So why haven't I driven the Tacoma in over a week? Am I over it? Am I selling it now? Nope, not at all. In fact, we are still just getting started. I don't know. I mean, I feel like it's always been my personality type to go through waves of certain things for a set amount of time. And I've been all about the Tundra as of lately, but now it's time to pull the Tacoma outside and show it some love. You guys read the title of the video. You guys know exactly what we are doing. Today, we have some stuff here in the bed of the truck from Nytop. We have some recovery points as well as a partial front bumper here in that big box. What that's doing is replacing this plastic piece on the front bumper and adding some recovery hooks down here, which we do already have. Um, but as you guys can see, the location of the current recovery here on this front bumper is not the best because the recovery point is just too in there. And then the recovery strap or the rope would end up just kind of hitting on that front valance right there. And it's just not a good place for the recovery points to be. I mean, it's good we have something there, but obviously having something more reinforced and in a better location is a lot more ideal. So Nytop solved that problem right there with a replacement for the recovery points here in the front and also to add them to the rear of the truck and then replacing this plastic piece right here with something nice and metal. So, so I went to my PO box this morning and picked up this package. Hey Mark, this is my 23 Tundra. I have it wrapped matte acid green. I had it wrapped for about six months, but I'm thinking about removing it. I get good and negative feedback quite often. I'm sure you know what that's like. I enjoy the content you make. Hope you enjoy the impact. Sincerely, Joe. Oh, dude, Joe, are you kidding me? This is you? Color is so sick. I love all the like glossy black around it too, with the A-pillar and the, the fog lights around and stuff, and that uh, TRD grill and stuff. Dude, that's a really nice setup. I'm sorry my voice is kind of weird still, but leave that just the way it is, Joe. I love it. Leave it, dude. For real. All right, Joe, what'd you send me? Dude, Joe, are you serious, dude? Are you? Thank you, man. A Dewalt brushless. Oh my gosh, dude. Like, come on. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Probably going to use that today. All right. Let's get to it. For this install, the front bumper does need to come off. So step number one is to remove the intake air duct. There's four push clips, one there, one there, one there, and one there. Instructions here are very, very clear, very straightforward, great pictures, straight to the point instructions all the way through. So that'll make pulling the front bumper off a lot easier. I'm having to guess what needs to come off to get the front bumper off. All right, so next step, there's three 10 mil bolts holding this upper grill. One there, one there, and one there. And then there's gonna be four push clips here. One there, one there, one there, and one there. On the driver's side, there is three 10 mil bolts, one, two, and three right there. And there's two pins right there that'll turn counterclockwise and then do the same thing on the passenger side. So underneath the truck here, there's two 10 mil bolts on both sides of the, underneath the bumper that holds the liner on. And then here towards the middle, there's one there and another one there. I'm using a couple of couple of extensions. This should work. Forgot to mention also that it's pretty important to disconnect the negative terminal on the battery because everything is so computerized now and I removed these wire harnesses here before pulling the bumper off. Don't wanna have any codes get hard locked, but the front bumper is off. Now it's time to work on the bumper, moving that lower balance. The lower half is right back there. There's gonna be 10 Phillips heads to remove on this lower portion of it all the way around and then 16 clips to release and that drops the plastic balance off. Now the lower balance has been removed. I'm gonna reinstall two screws on each side of the back of the bumper here. 
one, two, and then three and four to secure the fog lights around. And one more here in the middle. So now I'm gonna remove the crash bar bolts right here. There's four in total. And then also the recovery hooks as well because we're not gonna need those anymore. On the passenger side is a proper hook as we're over here. It's more like a little nub. Regardless, pull off these hooks with those two bolts on either side. And then also the four bolts on either side from the crash bar. So after pulling off the front recovery hooks, if you want to call them that, I don't know, but pull those off. Very simple, a couple of bolts and they're free and clear. Probably just gonna throw these in the trash now because we no longer need those. But cracked open at this box right here, which contained the top rear recovery hooks, which we'll set aside for right now and install at a later time. In the meantime, let's bust open this baby right here with the front bumper and these proper tow hooks right here. Do check these things out. They look good, they're nice and heavy. Can't wait to throw these on. And then dang, dude, check this bumper out right here. Oh my goodness. Got them side by side with the old and the new bumper here from Nytop. Check that thing out, dude. These are going on first. Got mine in the red finish uh, versus the black. I thought would kind of just disappear too much. Then the red ones here that would show better. Yeah, these go on first. Um, and then we'll put the front bumper back on and then the Nytop portion, so. Let's throw the hooks on first. Yeah, now I'm putting on the recovery hook. This part's very simple. Just reinstall the hardware back where it came from onto the crash bar and also down there where the recovery points were being held into. And then use the end wrench there to tighten it down. How to use the end wrench because it is a very tight fit for a socket. But that was pretty much that. And then threw the two bolts up in there and six in total, tied them all down. And that was pretty much it for the recovery hooks. Very, very simple. And then did the same there for the passenger side. The next step is to actually install the whole front end. And then the nine top bumper will go on last. As you guys can see, that is the last step right there. Bumper is on, hooks are on, but the nine top bumper is not on quite yet. Also too, you guys can see that that brace in there outside of the crash bar is optional to keep on or to take off. Keep mine on because it is an optional thing. So I'll leave mine on there. Um, but now it's time to put the front bumper, the whole bumper back on, and then we'll do the nine top bumper last. Now time to reinstall the bumper, just being careful with the headlights. I have PPF on mine, so I'm not too worried about scratching them, but if I didn't, I'd put tape on them. Then just snap in the sides, and that's pretty much it for that, and then reverse all the steps we took to remove the bumper in the first place, installing all the hardware, and that's pretty much that. Red's a nice accent color on the underground gray. Love that. But now it's time to throw on the nine top front bumper here. And this is where it's going to be mounting up to. Uh, the front of the truck is through that, those holes right there. And it came with some hardware as well. So we have some hardware with some washers and that is the final step. So let's go ahead and throw this guy up on there. Using the straight back for this one because it is heavier than it seems. Very solid quality feel to it. But anyways, from this point forward, very simple to install. Just use the openings there in the bumper to slide the hooks through and then using the hardware to install it onto the hooks itself. Tighten those down, very, very simple, four bolts and we are good to go. And this thing is now on the front end. All right, you guys, the bumper is in with the recovery hooks. What do you guys think? I think it looks really good. Very similar to the factory look really, but yeah, it's a much more stout look to it because it is a solid metal. And of course, with the recovery points in there, do check that out. Woo. Now let's pull it out and back it in and get the rear hooks put in and then see how it all looks together. But dude, that is that's so sick. All right, guys, back in the taco, back up in the garage and busting out the rear hooks once again and checking these things out, dude. They are freaking so good. That powder coat looks nice. Got nine top stamped right there on the side. These things have some nice weight to them as well. And of course, how you install them without some hardware. So. There's that. So this right here is the end result of what we are about to do right now. And as you guys can see, there's only one step and that is to install the recovery hooks with some nuts, some bolts and some washers. Nothing to remove first and very simple. So all right guys, the first thing we have to do is pull off the two plugs on the outer sides. We can get them off with this little pry tool. So I was having kind of a hard time with my plastic clip pliers. So I used the metal ones instead and didn't really care to salvage these plastic plugs. So I broke them clean off. Then I threw the hardware into the recovery hooks here from Nytop and then fed those through the frame and then hand tightened down the nuts and the bolts. And then I used two vice grips 
yes to vice grips and to go down to the um, tool store here and pick up some bigger sockets but got those all tightened down here on the passenger side and then moved on to the driver's side and did the same thing over there as well now it's time to see how everything came out <laughs> All right, you guys, and just like that, the Nightop hybrid front bumper is in along with the recovery points here in the front and recovery points there on the rear. And I gotta say, dude, first and foremost, the fitment is on point from top to bottom, side to side, way better than you would think for an aftermarket part, that is for sure. I can't even tell this is an aftermarket part at all. That's kind of Nightop's slogan too, is not your typical off-road part or not your typical on-road part, depending on what you're shopping for from their website. Everything they produce doesn't require cutting. Nothing requires cutting at all. It's all bolt-on stuff, including all the stuff coming out very soon also for this truck. And uh, yeah, dude, but yeah, I, I can't get over like how freaking good this looks. It's so clean, it's so simple. And that to me is a big deal because when it comes to front bumper or bumpers in general, I'm not a fan of doing bumpers usually because I like the more clean, simple look when it comes to the bumpers. Most bumpers that I've seen are a little too just kind of aggressive and for kind of an OEM plus on the more aggressive side of a, uh, modification like this here on the front end is perfect to me it's not a full front bumper we you know retain the crash bar everything was retained we only swapped out that plastic balance here for this solid steel piece right here and then add the recovery uh, points here to the frame and then this piece right here actually um, does mount onto the recovery points which makes it a very very simple install if you ever need to remove this you can just remove the bolts here from these recovery points and this thing drops right off and then we can also get the recovery points off just like that as well without taking the entire bumper off so very very simple um, to remove that if we need if we ever need to which uh, hopefully we never do now what's the cool thing about steel you can powder coat it right so that's an awesome thing to me if you guys ever want to do a powder coat to match let's say the underground or whatever color you have um, you can actually take this off and have it powder coated just like you can with the uh, recovery hooks here that I have in red. They do come in black and red as well from Nightop, but I personally thought the red was the move because I want to show them off a little bit, right? And I think the red looks so sick on the underground gray color right here. And of course it being kind of tucked behind the black uh, portion of the front end, it looks even better too. Nice combo of colors with the gray, the black, and the small bit of red down below, I think is a very nice combination of colors. Looks really, really good. That's pretty much it for the front end here. Cruise the back though. These things look really good. Obviously it's awesome having the function of some recovery points, but looks do matter too. And they killed it with the design of these things right here. And again, I love them in red because it just shows them off more. There's nigh top right there etched into the side profile of these recovery points. Very, very simple to install. As you guys seen, I had to pop off some plastic uh, cover there, which I didn't plan to try and salvage whatsoever. It was kind of hard to get off while trying to save it. So I just cracked most of them off and then uh, that was pretty much that. And then through the bolts in there with the washers and the nuts and that's pretty much it so now they're in there and again they look freaking amazing and of course having the uh the ability to get recovered there if we ever need to off the rear side there is awesome as well. So I got to go down to the California location where they do their R&D for the Nightop parts and it was cool getting to sort of know the company a bit better. They have a list of parts uh, for Tacomas, Tundras, Sequoias, more things coming very soon as well, including some fender flares here for the fourth gen Tacoma, aluminum skid plates that go all the way covering the transmission, the engine, rock sliders coming soon too, as well as a axle dump exhaust, titanium axle dump exhaust tip coming pretty soon as well. Everything is bolt on. For a lot of people, I feel like that's the big hurdle when it comes to doing stuff onto you know, their builds is they don't wanna cut stuff, right? Or they want it to be reversible for the sake of resell. Um, or maybe they leased it and want to be able to return it fully to stock because they plan to return their lease not you know sell it or buy it out or whatever so so again one of the cool things about having you know the the metal parts on here now is they are powder coatable which is pretty cool to me how if we ever want to in the future uh, we can pull all the stuff off very easily including the entire bumper on the front itself and take it down to powder coat and either do an accent color or match everything to 
the color of the truck right here. But that being said, I plan to wrap this thing up pretty soon. So I might end up going with something a little more like neutral that an accent color would go really well with. Uh, maybe something like a battleship type of gray. If you guys have any suggestions, drop a comment down below. I was gonna do this royal blue color in a matte finish from KPMF. It's called Matte Ice Blue Titanium, which I thought would look super sick, especially with all of the black around this truck and the top half being wrapped in black would look really cool, but might have to, you know, call it quits on that color pretty soon here and just do maybe something more neutral um, that another accent color would go really well with. So then maybe do, you know, a different color here on the recovery points there in the rear, on the front, and then, uh, you know, do the other details here on the truck that are, are a metal in a accent color but i don't know more to come on that pretty soon but in the meantime that is all i have for you guys for today i'm still kind of recovering from being sick so my voice is still kind of you know you can probably tell right now but uh yeah it's all good show must go on as always right hopefully you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys on the next one very soon till then peace out <laughs>